Hey everyone, Ian here, Mandershed Media. And we have a 70 Challenger RT here in the works, in the process. But this car has been under my nose for 25 years and I never knew about this car. So I got an opportunity, the owner and I are going through it here and it is a fantastic example. That's original paint on the floor. There is no rust in this car. It's 83 automatic, it's factory, uh, factory set up here. 14 inch cop wheels, again, going by the numbers, but this owner is building this to drive this as he did when he was 18. And it is going to be driven. It's a guarantee, 100% guarantee. But 7071 E bodies are very, very special. Anybody in the Mopar realm knows how special these cars are. And this is a true numbers matching car now he's putting a 440 in it now and that's again he can do whatever he wants he owns it and he plans on beating it real good so he's going to use uh use that engine and has the numbers matching 383 just hanging out waiting for waiting for a rebuild someday this is the original mileage on this car actually 50,309 so being it's an RT we have the N85 TAC we have the rally cluster clearly we have the four circles this is an R22 option, AM8 track, very slick. Three-speed wipers, which is right below there. So he's already mocked this all up and it all works, which again, this is the best way to do it because we've all been to the install the dash part and then nothing works and then the cuss words, they come out. So he's, all, he's eliminated all the swearing already, which is proactive. <laughs> So yeah, it's been apart for quite some time, but it is on the rebuild. So go mango orange, black stripe. It's got the V21 option, blacked out hood. This is gonna be one sick 70 Challenger RT. But like I said, under my nose forever. I had no idea this existed until about a phone call, like, I don't know, a month ago maybe? Two months ago, tops. So max cooling package, 956, and that is stamped correct for 383 automatic with the max cooling. He's got it all decoded. He's got, uh, it's, uh, here's a shot of the fender tag. So yeah, R22, that's our AM8 track. V21 is our our black paint, or black decal, sorry, on the, uh, on the hood. V6X is our decal on the side, Y07. Canadian export car, 26 is our 26 inch rad. Rally hood car, J45, M21 is the chrome drip rails, dual exhaust, obviously, N41, N42, chrome tips. N85 is the tack, so non-vinyl roof car because we got the EK2 top and bottom, so it's body color and roof color. This one even has the A01 package, which is the light package, so it has trunk light, light in the column. Very, again, super, super neat stuff here that, you know, we, we lose... And this was an early production, so September of 1969, fifth day of September. So the hood's not in this room here, so we uh, I don't I was curious about the crumple zone. So we're gonna get this uh, in another video when the when the far, car gets farther farther together. We're gonna look at that. C16, we have council C55 bucket seats, and then the uh, high grade uh, seats or uh, bucket seats. E63 would be 3D3, and the, obviously the D32 is the automatic on the floor. But JS right there, that's the Challenger RT 23 two-door hardtop, N83, three, sorry, 383, and then 0 is 1970B, Hamtrak, Michigan. Hamtrak, Michigan. So anyway, we thought we'd throw this out there, put her on the channel, and we'll get a we'll get a progressive video out when we get farther so it's a running it's a running vehicle it's not moving yet steering columns late yet yeah, left to go in but uh yeah he's made some super good progress paint at the end everything is just stellar mopar goodness right here nothing like a winter project to be a 70 rt <laughs> awesome all right please comment like subscribe you want to see something else like i said just comment. We will try to accommodate as best we can. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you all later. Bye for now.